My name is uh, Derek Burke. I'm the Digital Construction Manager for BAM here in the Museum of the Future. BAM are uh, mainly a construction company, but they, they operate in all life cycles of, of construction from civil infrastructure, marine jobs, to, to building jobs, and to PPP jobs. Uh, Museum of the Future is uh, an exhibition centre. So it's got um, levels for, for open plan floors for exhibitions. It's got a 400 seater auditorium, as well as food and beverage areas. We're employed to, to build the project from uh, the engineers and the architects design concept right through to handover. Me and myself, I'm uh, the digital construction manager. So I look after all the, the information uh, 3D models, draw and outputs, and all the handover documentation for the delivery of the project. My name is Owen Ryan. My role in the project is a BIM coordinator, so I work under Derek, who's the BIM manager, and part of the engineering team. We deliver the project as regards coordination of 3D models, laser scanning on site, um, assisting the QS team on a daily basis with quantities from the 3D model, and also our planning team through 4D sequencing, etc. So. Due to the complexity of the building, I think there's a lot of, lot of curves, a lot of shapes, a lot of round edges, stuff that's not common to any other job. So that's probably one of the, the massive challenges is coordination of MEP work at the back of a curved lining, for instance, was one of our big challenges. The steel then, the diagrid, the 1,000 or so, individual facade panels all had to be coordinated together and put on the building in a coordinated way. 3D laser scanning is important to the project because it allows us to make sure that anything that's coming to site, whether that be the facade panels, the steel, is coming to be installed as per the design. Now, if there's little changes here and there, the scanner will pick that up. We'll do a scan before, for instance, the facade panels come to site so we know what's involved. So when, when an item comes to site, there's no rework involved in moving brackets, et cetera, et cetera. The scanner picks it up. We know what's involved. We can be overlaid on the 3D model. And we know that when a product is coming to site, that it's going to fit. There's going to be no issues with cranes hanging around, scaffolding being in place, and having to wait for modifications being made to anything. So we know the scanner allows us to pick that up. The support we got from Leica staff here in Dubai was outstanding. From the beginning, Mustafa was on site training, training our team, our surveyors, who then were able to lend their, their ideas and their knowledge on the scanner to throughout our team. If and then there were certain points where we had queries or we had obstacles, Mustafa was always on call, Richard was always on call to just assist us. From Leica, we're using Cyclone. So that's used as a registration tool from the, to bring the scan data from the scanner to P40 into Cyclone. And then we make our cleaning up what we call the noise in the project through Cyclone and then exporting out a PTS file. So from there, we create a recap file through Autodesk. And then with the recap file, we can either give it to our, or the PTS file actually, to our subcontractors who are dealing in Tecla we use it ourselves then in our Autodesk Revit. Navis works on, on a daily basis for coordination and checking purposes. So using like the Cyclone, I found very straightforward. Um, it was, we do a lot of, we scan basically mainly through control points. So at the click of a button, tracking the data from the Leica P40, we import it directly into Cyclone at the click of a button. There, because we use control points, the model space was available to us straight away. And we then we could work on it as regards quickly visualization we could see what we scanned already, clear any noise that, that we didn't want, and then export the PTS straight away. In the future, I would insist on using a laser scanner of some sort. Because I've used Leica before, it's, I, couldn't, I couldn't fault it, and I would definitely insist that anyone on our job would use it, whether it's a Leica P40, a BLK, or an RTC360. It doesn't matter what size job you have, I think the Leica will give you results that you require. Um, whether it's just checking a, an as-built room, checking as-built verification of your subcontractors, etc. Very important and I, I, would, I would not go without it, to be honest. 